A food truck owner wants to put new rules on the books in Virginia Beach. He wants to offer equal employment opportunities regardless of a person's criminal history. 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier has the story. Order number 97. The food truck guys, they just want they just want an equal opportunity, just like brick and mortar guys. George Stepanovich is trying to change restaurant business for Virginia Beach. We all make a silly mistake here too, but uh, I don't think that should disqualify someone from an, op an employment opportunity. 98, please. Stepanovich has run the Bagel Bakery for seven years now. Have a good day. In this past year, he decided to put it on wheels. <laughs> but not everyone who works for him can run the truck. We don't want to step on anyone's toes. We don't want to create too much controversy, but you know, this is uh, these are businesses. People are making a living. It's all because of a city ordinance. See, if you work behind the counter in a brick and mortar business, you're in the clear. But if you have a misdemeanor or felony conviction, you are not allowed to work in a food truck in Virginia Beach. City Councilwoman Jessica Abbott says it all comes down to permits. Trucks got placed in the peddler's permit simply because there was no place for them. The city of Virginia Beach only requires a criminal background check for employees working in the truck. You don't go into McDonald's and ask to see if, you know, you're the guy making your burger has had a drug conviction or had a DUI. You don't, I don't know anybody who's ever asked that. Chris Katzis doesn't see any harm in changing the law. I think it's great to be able to give someone a second opportunity, a second chance if they, if they definitely deserve it. Stepanovich says the opportunity is invaluable. Uh, community is one big family and if we're not looking out for each other, giving, giving each other opportunities, what good are we as a society? In Virginia Beach, Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.